Chirp, chirp, chirp. What's that sound? It's Fergus Ferry on his round. He's happy and merry, a brave little fairy. Fergus never says no. Chirp, chirp, chirp. What's that sound? It's Fergus Ferry on his round. Fergus and Hydro. Chug, chug, chug. What's that sound? It's Fergus Ferry, not on his round. It's midsummer's day and time for the race when all the fairies try for first place. Boris is worried, and Horace is too, because they've seen a vessel that's new. Just one look is all you need to tell that Hydro is built for speed. Bang goes the gun. Off they go, the race has begun. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Boris gives all he's got. He's trying so hard that his engines get hot. Here I am in my proper place, leading the way at the front of the race. Then Horace gives his engines a burst. I passed you, Boris. Now who's first? Going fast did the trick. That hydro isn't so quick. Boris revs his engines. I'm coming through. I'm the one who should be in front, not you. Look out. Hydro's coming through like a train. She's out of the water. She's started to plane. She's going so fast, she has a frothy white lake. Oh, no. This is more than I can take. Bang. Boris bursts his engines and starts to roll. All that effort has taken its toll. Jake is on the radio. Tess, we need you now. Horace is drifting. He's going to smash his bow. Horace is winning, but it won't be for long. Hydro is close. Fergus looks strong. Chocka, chocka, chocka. Tess lifts into the air. Jimmy and Jock, I'll meet you there. Onto it from Jimmy. Onto it from Jock. We'll stop old Boris from hitting that rock. Then there's another bang. It doesn't sound good. Ouch. I've hit a piece of wood. My propeller is broken, so that's me out. Then from across the water, she hears a shout. Horace, quick, lend me a hand. I need a tow now, or I'll hit dry land. Horace glances back and sees Boris looking sad. If I help, I'll lose, so it's just too bad. Look at the crowd. They're impressed. I'm so much faster than all the rest. The tugs arrive and throw Boris a line. Tie the ropes tight and you'll be fine. Over the radio, another message comes through. Can anyone help? I'm in trouble too. Not me. From Jimmy. Not me. From Jock. We're taking Boris back to the dock. The race has passed. There's not a vessel in sight. It's looking grim for Hydro. Her face turns white. But chug, chug, chug. What's that sound? Don't worry. I've turned around. Thank you, Fergus. It's great to see that you care enough to come back for me. Horace is grinning. He's near the end of the race. Then he sees something that wipes the smile off his face. Oh, Horace, I've got news for you. While you were watching the crowd, I snuck through. Angus finishes first in front of them all. I've won, even though I'm small. Fergus tows Hydro back to the key. There's one thing that's bothering me. Fergus, old friend, you'd have won without doubt. So why did you turn back to help Hydro out? To help a friend means more, you see, than any trophy they could give to me. Then Joe takes off his hat and scratches his head, shrugs his shoulders and goes home to bed.